This is Mohamed Hamid Noor. He is only 23, but already nostalgic about Iraq's Mesopotamian marshes. But drought dried them up, decimating his herd of water buffaloes. Mohammed has lost three quarters of his herd to the drought that is now ravaging the marshes for the fourth consecutive year. It is the worst in 40 years, the United Nations said this week describing the situation as alarming. According to the UN, 70% of the marshes are already devoid of water. Even at the center in Chibriish, only a few expanses of the ancient waterways, which were home to a marsh Arab culture dating back to millennia, survive today. They are linked by channels that snake through the reeds. Pull back further, and the water gives way to a parched landscape of bald and cracked earth. كان هذا كله مغمور بالمياه وكانت الجواميس تذهب أينما تشاء غذاء وفير ومياه كثيرة وصيد أسماك أما اليوم فكما ترون لم يتبقى سوى بقايا بيتين أما كل السكان فغيروا أماكنهم باستمرار من هذا المكان الذي هو كور قلب الأهوار الوسطى The marshlands have shrunk from 7,700 square miles in the early 1990s to 1,500 square miles by latest estimates. The marshlands are choked by dams on the great rivers upstream in Turkey and Syria, and the soaring temperatures of climate change. Only a few thousand of the quarter million Mardin tribesmen who lived in the marshes in the early 90s remain. <laughs> Sewers, pesticides, and waste from factories and hospitals are dumped directly into the Euphrates along its course, and much of it ends up in the marshes. As the marshes get polluted and dry out, the water gets salty and toxic until it starts killing the buffaloes. This forces the herders to constantly move in search of safer water sources. <laughs> باتجاه الشبايش قريبا من الفرات وقسم كبير ذهب خارج حدود الأهوار إلى بابل والنجف وكربلاء والديوانية أو الكوت حيث موجود بعض القنوات المياه وموجود مياه البزل للأسف الشديد. According to the United Nations, Iraq is one of the five countries most touched by some effects of climate change. Rainfall is rarer and rarer, and in the next 25 years the temperature will go up by an average of 2.5 degrees, says the World Bank. The impact of the rising temperature is clearly seen in the water levels of the country's rivers. Every day there is the level of the Euphrates and marshes go down with half centimeter. That means in this month and next two months there is a higher of temperature that means higher evaporation of the water. I think the water is go down by 30 centimeter again. That means we reach until 40, 45 centimeter in, in, in the last of the summer. Many marsh Arabs have left for the towns and cities where they are often treated as pariahs. ماي ماكو هالشيء شوفنا نوبه 
ان شي شي نحط نوفات ان شي نوف وظلنا بالحسرة حتى دوامنا ظلنا يتم العطش تروح لثور وتجي ننقل نقال من اللي شو اسمه البغدادي لا عندنا ماي لا هاي كان حلالنا من نخليه هنا ينقطع ويموت وين هم يشوفوا لنا ديره وين ما الله قسم ندير ناخذ حلالنا ونشوف بعد وين نروح هذالي المحتارين نوب هيك نوب هيك وين ما شالت الوادي احنا وياه A poor water management system and an ongoing cold war for water between neighbors Syria and Turkey further complicate the situation. Dams upstream in Turkey, where the Tigris and the Euphrates have their sources, and others on their tributaries in Syria and Iran, are also pointed out as a cause of the water shortage. The French NGO, agronomists and vets without borders, is training their Iraqi colleagues and trying to help herders and fishermen. Si la quantité d'eau, la quantité d'eau se raréfie, euh, comme en saison sèche en général, et comme ça a été le cas de manière absolument dramatique euh, l'été dernier en 2022, eh bien là, l'eau euh, devient carrément non potable, que ce soit pour les animaux ou pour euh, les humains, à cause d'une trop grande salinité et à cause d'une potentielle toxicité. Water shortage has forced many of the herders to sell their cattle at derisory prices. Despite having a UNESCO World Heritage status, the herders are displaced from the land they love and are forced to look for other means of livelihood. But they are also hopeful that the marshlands would be inundated with water once again, and they will be able to return to their ancestral job. The marsh has already almost died once. This was when former dictator Saddam Hussein dried them out to hunt down the Shiite rebels. The rebels had taken refuge in the marshes after the failed uprising in the wake of the first Gulf War in 1991. Now it is slowly disappearing and revealing a vast expanse of arid desert. Will the golden days of cattle rearing return for the marsh Arabs? <laughs>